took a while for me to decide this, but uh, it wasn't that, that it was bad, it was just that I was so late, so I didn't think it would have been matter if I decided to well, renew it anyway. But we have gotten the next uh, fan service uh, manga turned anime, Yuragi Sono Yuna-san. At least that's how I presume you say it. Hi, for those who are watching the Angry Anime Fan The Despair Reviewer, thinking of uh, trying to review the episodes as they go along. This stars an uh, unlucky guy who has been blessed with great strength, but unfortunately poor money situations as he has always been exercising ghosts. He then hears about a ghost haunting a resident inn called Yuragi Inn. So um, in order to uh, get adept he has mass he has unfortunately gotten because of his numerous attempts to make spirits uh, reach the uh, heaven. He discovers that uh, he, first of all, he's introduced to all of the beautiful ladies of the place. The first one is the innkeeper, uh, Shitose Nakai, who looks young, but I think it's something else. An enormous, sexy, drunk girl, woman called non, non, Nonko Arabaki. Uh, she doesn't really look uh, human either. Uh, very, uh, very harsh, and I would almost certainly say does not like men type girl called Sagiri Amenu. And then uh, a very uh, petite, uh, uh, childlike girl called Jaya Fushiguru. Her talking reminds me of that of a cat. They hear that he's gonna stay at the inn in order to purify the ghost, um, but then he discovers that the Ghost that needs purified is actually a very cute, awkward young girl called Juna Junohana, who is the name of the this uh, manga, so to speak. And it turns out that she has lingering regret, regrets, and that's why she doesn't ascend to the afterlife, so to speak. But she doesn't know what her lingering regrets are. And uh, unfortunately, the main character, uh, Koga, Kogarashi, has a tendency not to punch women because, well, he doesn't really want to punch women. And not to mention that Yuna is a very cute girl and a very awkward one at that. So, well, and it's and it seems like Yuna is, is haunting the same room Koyabashi is forced to stay in when he is at the inn, mostly because it's the cheapest. So, well, why they don't sleep together, they, sh they sleep in the same room together. It's during the night time that uh, Koyabashi mentions that he would like to help Yuna ascend to the afterlife. But she doesn't really remember why she is sick in the first place. I mean sick, uh, why she is lingering sick uh, here in the first place. And then uh, the next day uh, Koyabashi ends up in a very awkward situation with Yuna, so she blasts him up into the river, <laughs> which eventually becomes a running gag this entire episode. As then a monk comes and is ready to forcefully ascend Yuna to the afterlife, but Koyabashi, being the good guy he is, refuses, saying that she is my roommate and I'll decide when she is ready to ascend to heaven. Well, technically it doesn't say that, but it's close to it. It's revealed also that Koyabashi has uh, quite a uh, Quite the strength, probably because he has been possessed by a numerous amount of ghosts over his life. So Yuna is very moved by this. Unfortunately, he still ends up in a perverted situation. So he, she blasts him, and this time he lands in actually the women's hot spring uh, place, where all the women are not so very happy of him seeing them naked, <laughs> especially the man-hating one. So yeah, that so starts Koyabashi's journey with beautiful ladies in an inn. Something tells me it's not going to be as easy as he thought to handle this kind of job. What's even more funny that he actually met Yuna earlier in this episode in a hot spring. So yeah, this is a fan service m an anime, but uh, while it doesn't have the high school DxD moments, so who, well, I mean, to be honest, who has it? This is one of the more comedy-like moments. That takes it very self very seriously and is surrounded by beautiful ladies, but it's not exactly dumb in the mind itself. It appears also that all of the ladies are, except one I think, do not appear to be human. So uh, I guess it's a, a well monster harem like uh, type of anime. 
Either way, but the main characters are very adorable and have adorable use voices, especially Yuna, who immediately I have taken a liking to. She is so socially awkward that you cannot help but love her. Not to mention the the big boobed uh, woman, uh, non Nunko. She appears to be the oldest of the residents. She appears to be a drunk yard, but uh, I wonder if there's something more about her so to speak so i'm looking forward to this story not only for the nudity although technically we didn't see any nudity because well of censoring but it'll still be an interesting with this manga take i mean i'm not gonna say it's gonna be revolutionary but if this is an enjoyable lechy enemy to see that's good enough for me so give me your thoughts if you have any